Hello, I'm Austin Killian. I am 18 years old and I recently graduated from high school. And I'm so honored to be representing the Tucson Monty Awards. Um, the topics I've chosen to talk about today, I've, I've kind of accidentally chosen two. Um, the first one is someone that's inspired me to pursue my passions and dreams in the arts. And the other one is something difficult that I've had to overcome in life. And you'll see why they tie together later. So the per person I chose is my grandma because I saw this topic and I knew that there had to be someone and I really had to think about who that could be and if it was a teacher or my mom or my dad and it, I just kept coming back to the fact that it was my grandma because looking back on my life, there's never been anybody who was able to allow me to express myself in the full weird and creative way that my grandma has. What, what I mean by that is my parents would buy me arts and crafts and paints and all these things, but that wasn't who I was when I was younger. My grandma was so open to letting me wear all these different outfits and play dress up and the costume jewelry and sing my lungs out in her backyard um, and things like that, that, that I didn't know at the time that that meant theater, that meant performing is what I loved. I just knew that I loved being characters, loved exploring who I was and things like that. She used to take me to thrift shops. There was a thrift shop right down the road from her house. And she would buy me the weirdest things that I didn't realize that that shaped me as a person, but it really did. One time she bought me a wooden watermelon. Why I needed that, I had no clue, but she, she didn't care. She wanted me to be allowed to express myself and not be afraid to want, want unusual and want weird in my life and things like that. Um, and the reason she's been so impactful in my theater life is because I wouldn't even have done theater if not for her. She lived in the same neighborhood as a little community theater that is still running. I still do shows there today. Um, they just were doing a children's camp. It was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And so she signed me and my brother up, whether that was to get us something excited about or to get us out of her house. Um, we signed up and we were doing it and I was Grandpa Joe. And the second I stepped onto that plywood stage, I knew that that's where I belong. I, it all made sense wanting the weird things from the thrift store to wearing costume jewelry and singing it. It was theater and I realized that. And the reason it's, it also kind of ties into the other topic of something difficult that I've had to overcome is about six years ago when I was, the summer after sixth grade, my grandma got diagnosed with cancer and she passed away which is, it was hard. At the time it was hard, it's still hard, but as you get older, you learn to, to grow and move past those kinds of situations and, and see how they can make you stronger and things like that. But at the time it was just so difficult. It was someone that I needed in my life to allow me to express myself that was just gone now. And it's, it's, it was difficult, but um, over time I've used that as a learning experience and a way to always remind myself that Life is just too short. It's too short to not wear that shirt you want to wear because it looks weird or not buy that wooden watermelon from the thrift store. You know, you, you just have to go into it and live every day like it could be your last and love as much as you can and give as much as you can because that's who my grandma was and that's who I try to be, not only on stage and in the theater, but just as a person in life. And I think we, if we were all a little bit more like my grandma, the world would be such a beautiful place. Not that it isn't now, but um, yeah, I would say that there's, there's never been anyone else that can replace that part of my heart or anything like that. So um, that's why I chose to talk about my grandma. I hope I didn't get too sad for you guys, but uh, thank you very much for listening.